This is Yurong from Taiwan. And I'm, currently I work in Poland for, and live here for more than three years, almost four. No, actually, I didn't choose Poland. It's just like a Poland chose me. At that moment, is a one job opportunity comes to me, and then I was thinking, okay, why not? Well, why not give myself a challenge about for my life? So that's the reason I came here. But I didn't choose Poland, but I do choose to stay here longer time because after I finish my country, I have the chance to go back to Taiwan. But and I think as I start to enjoy the life here, so I extend my contract and I even choose my second job and continue to stay here. And currently, of course, I'm thinking about settle down here. The funniest situation is happened actually happened in my residency residency area. And when as a being a foreigner, I came to Warsaw and chose the city center as my uh, flat and because I don't know city at all. So at that moment, I just think it's okay. I need to be in a very city center. So I choose a milli plotter and Ponaski that area for my. Uh, accommodation, but after few few weeks, I noticed something wrong in this area. Sometimes when I wait for my taxi, I notice that some cars they just stop by, stop by beside me, and start to talk to me in some kind of the Polish language. And somehow I understand they are asking me about the price. So I was thinking, what can I tell them? Uh, it's more seems like uh, this is a prostitute area. <laughs> so they, I was thinking, okay, what can I say? Uh, how much do I cost, or do I should I finish this transaction? At the end, I just tell them, okay, I'm too expensive for you. You, you cannot afford it. <laughs> What really surprised me in Poland is the road condition. Um, because I know in Poland you don't have a lot of mountain, but the, and also I live in some other country of Europe for some years. Also, I noticed I, or well, the first time I come to Poland is I noticed that the road condition it's quite uh, in a um, um, bad condition, <laughs> and the travel between city to city it's not so easy and so not so convenient for foreigner especially for foreigners if you don't understand the language. I think it's definitely people, Polish people here. Um, Pol Poland has no really beautiful city compared to other West European country like London, Paris or Berlin, Frankfurt. No, definitely Warsaw is not so beautiful, but what I like Poland is the Polish people. Polish people are very distant at the very first beginning when you see them. But after you make the, your first step to and open your mind to them, they can become so friendly and they really treat you like a part of their group. And they, you don't feel like you are rejected from this uh, nation, nationality. So that's what I like Poland. But I think it's you have to make the first movement because I notice Polish, most of them are quite shy. And, and when you first time, when the first time you met them. What I don't like Poland is the winter. Come on, this is, um, I come from tropical and always like a 20, 30 degree. But in Poland, sometimes the weather can be minus 30 and you don't have the sun for several months. It's kind of uh, frustrated. But I can understand it's not a um, a fall of uh, Pol Poland. It's just like uh, the location. So what can you, what I can do is just like um, scream and enjoy. That's all. <laughs> and also I have I have a very huge problem about the law and regulation here. All about the tax and accounting rules because this is what my job related. It's kind of the. Um, Disaster for me, like uh, how many, how comes there are so many exceptions in this uh, those tax advice, tax law? 
So it's really surprised me and then so many book and how many regulations you have to read and have to understand before you become a tax advisory. <laughs> Actually, I love party in Poland. I think it's party in Poland. It's a it's a fun part. It's not because uh, you have a very uh, fantastic club or something like this, but it's because of the people are so interesting in club. And I notice Polish are pretty shy when they are sober, when they when they are quite in the daytime. But after few shock and few drink. And people just so open their mouths and then just so talkative and you can just uh, talk to them without boundary. And uh, those things that you can really make good friends and talk to people uh, in a very kind way. And I, so that's the reason I think it's, uh, I like Polish party. And, but I also like those um, Poland, you have so many, some kind of, we call the ghetto area. Uh, those bar is not in the main street, it's in some kind of the small alley. You have to go into, you have to turn into a small alley and then you will find there's a completely different world and then there's a nice club or a nice bar and then with, full with the real people there. It's not like uh, those people, those tourists on the street or those people with the suit and tight and those businessmen, they are real people from Warsaw and then they just go there to enjoy their life and drinking. And I love to talk to them and share their opinion about how I feel about uh, Poland or how I feel about the life here. So this is, um, this is what I think is amazing part in, in Warsaw. Polish men, I think it's, I noticed there's some kind of the differences between the old generation and the new generation. For the old generation, they're really very gentleman behavior and they are very friendly. Every time when I'm in train station with huge luggage, they're always very helpful and try to give me the help even they don't speak English or they don't know other language, they just give me a hand. It's very grateful and, and very, uh, I, I feel very warm and I like this behavior of this old traditional style. And I think it's a new generation, they should keep, still keep, they should keep, try to keep this um, good behavior, <laughs> try to help us, please. <laughs> and also I noticed the Polish guys are very shy when they are sober and during the daytime but after drink they can be very uh, positive and very active. We have very little knowledge about Poland and most of the people probably around they still stay about the image about Poland 20 years ago only cold winter and communist and there's no summer and all the time very very cold minus 20 minus 30 so every time when I talk to my parents they always tell me that Did you have enough jacket do you have enough coat keep yourself warm okay but come on in summer this city, this country can be plus 30 degree. I want to only wear a bikini instead of the coat, come on. Hi, Prostanie, Internatów, Wietionie, Poski. Huan Yin Shokan, Wietionie, Poski. Poski.